Hello everyone, in this particular video we are going to learn about descriptive statistics on Pandas data frame. So let's begin. So Pandas data frame have useful functions to provide us with some detailed statistics about the values in the data frame. So basically Pandas data frame have some uh, built-in function with them and through them we can easily uh, get some uh, statistical values of that particular data frame. So let's move forward. So uh, consider an example uh, here. Uh, so I have taken describe function. So pandas data frame have describe function here uh, through which we can get values like count, mean, standard deviation, minimum value, maximum value and as well as we can get various quartiles. So what are quartiles? So quartiles are values that divide data into four quarters. So assume that uh, there is a, a particular number line. So we can just divide that particular uh, number line into four parts. So uh, that four segments uh, can be called as quartiles. So the plot, uh, box plot is ideally used to visualize that particular quartiles. So let me just explain you these quartiles in a more brief manner. So let's move forward. So the first quartile. So we have already assumed that uh, a particular number line can be divided into four parts. So the lowest 25% uh, numbers are the first quartile. And after that, the next lowest 25% numbers uh, up to the median value are the second quartile. So median value is the basically the middle value. And after that, the second highest 25% numbers are third, third quartile. And uh, moving forward, uh, the highest 25% numbers are the fourth quartile. So this is what uh, a quartile means. So let's move forward. So now let's understand about percentile. So the 0th percentile is uh, the smallest number, the 25th percentile is the end of first quartile and uh, the 50th percentile is the end of second quartile and the 7th percentile is the end of third quartile and the 100th percentile is the largest number. So basically uh, a particular number line can be just uh, uh, divided into these particular segments. So let's move forward. So uh, we will take a particular example to understand what's quartile deviation. So uh, let's get uh, uh, started with it. So consider a data set of following numbers here 22, 12, 14, 7, 8, 16, 12, 6, 10, 13. So here you can see that there are total 10 numbers and 12 is repetitive here. So it is a uh, duplicate value here. So uh, we are going to calculate the quartile deviation here. So let's get started with it. So first of all, we are going to arrange data into ascending order and we will remove the duplicate values. So you can just arrange the data into descending or ascending order. It's up to you. So I am just arranging the data set into ascending order here and the duplicate value is 12 here. So I will just remove it. Uh, so here you can see that I have just arranged the data set into uh, ascending values. So uh, here you can see that now there are nine values here. So the uh, Q1, the qu uh, quartile one is uh, we can just calculate it by this particular uh, formula here one by fourth of 9 plus 1. So there are total 9 values here. So uh, we are just putting uh, 9 plus 1 here and we will get 2.5 term. So uh, 2.5 term, uh, there is no 2.5 term in this particular uh, values. So we are going to uh, work more on this particular uh, Q1. Uh, but first of all, let's calculate Q3, the third quartile. So let's move forward. So Q3 can be calculated by this particular formula here. Uh, 3 by 4 of a uh, total number of values plus 1. So total number of values here are 9. So we have just calculated Q3. So the Q3 value has came out to be 7.5 term. So it does not exist. Uh, so we are going to do some kind of uh, more calculation on this particular uh, uh, Q1 and Q3. So let's move forward. So we are now uh, going to calculate uh, uh, quartile deviation. So first of all, we are going to calculate uh, Q1. So Q1 is uh, difference between second and third term. So uh, first we will calculate the difference between second and third term. So what is second term? 7. And what is third term? 8. So, so 8 minus 7 is 1. And then we will multiply it by 0 0.5. So we will get 0 0.5. So uh, the Q1 will be, we will just add uh, the first uh, first term, uh, which is, uh, uh, we have already seen the second term, uh, which is 7. Uh, so 7 will be added with 0 0.5. So it will be converted into 7.5. So Q1 value is 7.5. So after that, we will uh, do the same thing for the Q3. 
so we will just uh, take the difference between 7 and 8 term so we have seen that uh, this is 7.5 term so uh, we will just uh, calculate the difference between 7th and 8th term so 7th and 8th term are uh, 16 and 14 respectively so uh, the dif difference will be 2 so then after multiplying with 0 0.5 we will get value 1 and then q3 can be calculated uh, with 16 plus 1 that is 17 so this is how we will calculate q1 and q3 so now we are having the values of q1 and q3 uh, we, we can just calculate uh, quartile deviation easily so uh, here you can see that quartile deviation can be calculated by uh, this particular formula q3 minus q1 divided by 2 so q3 is 17 and q1 is 7.5 so, uh, so after uh, just uh, subtracting these values and dividing by 2 we will get 4.75 so this is quartile deviation so i hope that you would have understood everything up till this point of time so uh, let's get uh, some coding stuff also with this particular uh, uh, mathematics so let's get started with the coding section so here guys we are going to uh, perform some coding so let's get started with it so first of all uh, we will import the libraries which are required here so let me just type the code then i will explain it So here you can see that we have imported numpy and pandas so i hope that you would have some basic knowledge regarding these libraries so let's move forward so i am creating a new variable here and then i am just creating pandas data frame here i will just uh, type the code then i will explain it so don't worry about it So here you can see that I have just created a new variable df and this uh, particular uh, uh, function you can see that uh, I have just called a random function here and in this particular random function there will be 10 rows and 5 columns and the name of that particular columns will be a b c d e so there will be random values in those particular uh, values so uh, I will just uh, print the value of df and then I will print uh, df dot describe function so describe function will give me the values of quartiles, mean, standard deviation, maximum value, minimum value. So let's see what will be the result here. So I am just running the code here. So here you can see that our code has successfully run here. And here you can see that uh, we have just printed df first. So this is the particular data frame which is created here. Uh, so there are 5 uh, uh, columns and uh, 10 rows here from 0 to 9. And when we have just printed df.describe function, we have uh, got the values of count, mean, standard, deviation, minimum value, 25%, 50% L, uh, 75 and then maximum value. So uh, uh, here you can see that uh, we have just uh, calculated the uh, value of describe function here and these kind of values we will get. So I hope that you would have understood everything up till this point of time. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you.